So if this is the capsular bag and this is the anterior capsule, this is the lens inside the bag and the lens is suspended by these little arms that we call haptics. What happens is the capsule behind the bag is a bit cloudy. So what we do is our goal is to create an opening in the capsule. And the goal is to make the opening about like this big, but we make it centrally and we kind of spiral around to widen the opening. The goal when we're done is that they have a central opening that they can see through. The peripheral area is still left untouched and the peripheral area holds the lens in proper position and alignment so it doesn't move but the patient is able to see through the middle without the ver their view being obstructed by the cloudy film. So let's illustrate the ag capsulotomy on the computer. Here we open the capsular membrane during cataract surgery, remove the cataract and insert a nuclear implant into the capsular bag. This is an oblique view of the lens implant and we're showing the cloudy capsule that's formed. We deliver the YAG laser to open the capsule. Quite often, small fragments of the capsule will remain suspended behind the implant, and the patient will see them as little floaters. Although their overall view is much clearer, this is a live view of the eye. You can see the implant in the eye, surrounded by the capsule, but the capsule has turned cloudy. like somebody has placed fingernail polish on a clear lens. So the YAG laser is brought into focus just behind the implant and small pulses are applied to the cloudy posterior capsule. The energy of the YAG laser creates a small microburst that allows us to open the capsule exactly where we want it. The laser passes harmlessly through the cornea and through the implant we assemble a series of these small YAG laser pulses and create a expanding circular opening through which the patient can gain a clearer view. You can see small fragments of the capsule are being suspended behind the implant and they might be seen at a later time as small floaters. These floaters usually dissipate over a period of days to months. The patient feels nothing during the treatment, just mild vibrations, no pain whatsoever. Here you can see a side-by-side -side view before and after of the cloudy capsule on screen left and the opened capsule on screen right. This patient did great and their cloudy vision was significantly improved. Thank you for your time and attention.